This is a quick tutorial on how to get a Google map into a Unity game. Um, and in my example, I'm doing a 2D side scrolling game, and I want the map to show up in the canvas layer, in the UI layer, um, not on like a 3D object or a, an actual game object within the scene. Um, so you can see, if I push play here, this is my game, and uh, you know, my map is showing up in the bottom right here. I've got a little um, scrolling text box that I still need to do some work on. Um, and these all sit above, you know, the actual scene. You know, they're, they're following the character around wherever he goes, and he's doing his funny animations and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you how I set that up. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is have a canvas element. Uh, you know, you can create those by going to UI, canvas um, and that's just the root element for any sort of UI components you want to have so all of my UI components sit inside that canvas I have the updates panel which was that text box that showed up in the upper right um, and then I have my map uh, game object which is uh, this box here so uh, this is the updates panel and this is the map uh, don't need to worry about the updates panel right now so uh, within that map, I have um, an image, which is just this sort of transparent white box. And within that, um, I have another game object, which I've called Map Scroll View. Uh, and th the reason I have this is because I want, if my Google Map tile is larger uh, than the viewable area, I want to be able to scroll around. Uh, it's not required, but, um, you know, it's useful in my case. Uh, so anyway, I've attached this scroll rect component. Uh, I've allowed it to be able to scroll horizontal and vertical. Uh, I've given it this elastic bounce motion when it reaches the ends. I could just have it uh, be clamped so when it hits the edges it doesn't sort of bounce. In fact, I might like that better. And then I've got this um, rect mask, which basically just sizes itself uh, to this rect transform. Um, and anything that goes outside of this rectangle, it just masks off. Um, now, within that uh, scroll view nested here, I've got an image component. So that also has a rect transform. I've set it to um, the the size that I'm going to be pulling in my Google Map tile at, which is 640 by 640. Um, and then I've got this raw image uh, tag, which I just added, a uh, component, which I just added via the add component raw image. Um, now, there's you'll notice there's also an image uh, component within Unity. The difference between raw image and image is that uh, image only accepts a sprite type and raw image accepts any kind of texture. Um, so um, what we're going to be doing is the, the Google Map tile will be coming in as a texture. We're applying a texture to the raw image. If we applied it to an image, it wouldn't show up, as far as I know. You know correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, um, the last thing I've done is attach this map script, and that's what we're going to go through next. But basically, the map script allows us to uh, query Google Maps and get our map tile. Um, so in this map script you can see we're giving it a latitude, a longitude, a zoom level, the map width and height, with this, which is you know again the texture size that we want to bring it in at, um, and then the type of map we want. So there's road map, satellite view, hybrid, or terrain. We could customize that even more and do some kind of like custom map style uh, we could add markers and things like that, uh, but we're just going to leave it uh, simple for now as a roadmap, which is the most common type of uh, Google Map. I'm also going to show you later how to um, change that latitude and longitude if you want to kind of update the map with a new uh, style. So this is our map script. Uh, this is the common, you know, these are, I'll put these first, but these are the common libraries that come in with any script, and then I've added this uh, uni, unityengine.ui uh, library, which is the library you need to do any sort of updates or changes to UI elements within Unity. Um, we've got this variable, which is going to uh, hold uh, 
the post request um, to Google Maps. Uh, we've got again our latitude and longitude, which are static right now. Um, we can change it within the Unity UI, as you saw. Um, our zoom level, our tile size, um, our map type, which is an array, and uh, then the scale. Uh, we've got this variable, which I'm actually not using right now, called loading map. Um, this would be useful if there were other things in your scene that needed to change, or like a message to display, to let the user know that it's waiting to load the map. Uh, and uh, once the map is loaded, this will be set to true. So, um, in order to get the map tile, we need a what's called a coroutine, which is essentially a separate thread, a uh, separate process that Unity cycles through outside of this sort of update loop. Um, so that way it doesn't block any of the other things that are happening within your game. So, uh, you know, your game can keep track of your character's animations and things like that while the map is still loading. Um, and so uh, I've got this variable here. Uh, called map coroutine, and that's going to hold this function. Um, it's just going to be a reference to this function so that we can stop and start it. Um, so on start, on this, when the script loads, we're going to say that map coroutine variable is equal to this function get Google Map, and it takes two parameters. These are floats; they're numbers, uh, decimal numbers, uh, which are the lat latitude and longitude coordinates. Anyway, um, within start, we're going to start that coroutine. Um, so the coroutine um, specifies the URL to the Google Maps API. Um, and so uh, basically, Google allows you to get these tiles via their API, but the first thing that you need is your key. Um, and in order to do that, uh, you need to visit the Google Maps API uh, page. I'll post that link. Um, but once you do so, you need to sign up for a key. And uh, basically, you uh, just it ties it to a Google Map account. Um, you agree to their terms. And um, you set up an application that you're going to use this uh, API key for. And then it gives you this, um, this key value here. And we're just gonna paste that into the script here um, and then use our zoom map width height scale latitude and longitude variables in order to construct the uh, API request. Uh, so Unity provides this www class and that allows you to create these get and post requests. If you're a JavaScript developer or web developer uh, you might recognize them as similar to an Ajax request and uh, so we construct that request. We return it once we've uh, successfully queried the API. Uh, and then we ref uh, get our game object and select the raw image component and apply the texture that's returned from Google Maps. Um, so once we have that map texture, we so stop the coroutine. Say we want to update uh, the map with a new latitude and longitude. Um, I've got the uh, Unity's standard update function here, and I've just, you know, we could make this dynamic and allow the user to maybe, I don't know, type in their latitude and longitude, but I, I've just set up a simple uh, static latitude and longitude that we're going to update our map with. Uh, and I'm basically just saying if they hit the key M on the keyboard, Let's update the map with this new latitude and longitude. Now, notice the format on this. Um, the it's a it's a float number. Uh, there's various types of formats for latitude and longitude, uh, and the one that I started with actually was from Flickr. Um, I'm taking uh, EXIF data from Flickr for different photos. Um, so this would be data stored in a camera. Um, if you look at it, uh, you can see GPS latitude 40 degrees, 41, I don't know what they call it, feet and minutes or something like that. 
Um, then you've got your longitude here, which is a, a degree west. Uh, so I needed those numbers to be translated into a format that Google understands. And in order to do that, I just did a, a Google search, found this site, earthpoint.us, and I posted in that number with degrees, minutes, and seconds, um, and north and west. And what that rendered out is various, uh, you know, the various other formats that uh, latitude and longitude can be listed in. Uh, and the one that I wanted was this decimal number here, this first one. Um, and you see that it's turned that west degree into this number, a negative number. I'm just copying those in. Let's see that one's there. Longitude is here. And I'm adding the F at the end to let uh, Unity know that it's a, a float, uh, floating point number. And then I'm just updating that, I'm um, re-specifying that coroutine as get Google map with the new latitude and longitude and then restarting that code routine. Um, so now if I go back into my scene, push play, I've got my regular map, I hit the M key and you can see our map uh, now sets us in Ozone Park in New York City. Um, so uh, that is basically the process of getting a Google map into your Unity game.